I feel called to help connect other veterans and military family members with the arts. My name is Jason Poudrier, and I'm the Arts and Humanities Administrator for the City of Lawton. And you're a poet. And I'm a poet. <laughs> 2003, I deployed with my unit to Iraq, and while I was over there, uh, we actually had an Air Force bomb that was dropped on my unit, and uh, we lost uh, three guys, and I was one of five that were wounded. So this is actually the, the piece of shrapnel that they removed from my left leg. It was actually harder to recover from the mental wounds than it was the physical wounds. The muscle grew back just like it was supposed to, uh, but the intrusive memories, the flashbacks, working through uh, the arts and the humanities, and actually it's the people that you get connected with in the arts and humanities. It's the community that I found was a huge part of the healing process. I am the blood. I am the body face down on the ground to him. His voice I never heard. Ask me if I'm okay, but he did. My full length collection, which is uh, Red Fields, got selected for publication that all of a sudden, you know, gave kind of a validation to my story. With a voice that I will never hear again because his name is now engraved on a memorial still being filled. When I first read and I was a featured reader, and had an audience that I was telling my story, healing really started to occur. Really, it's just finding your own voice that matters. Truth is, I would like to escape myself. Detach my body from my skin, peel it layer by layer to uncover beneath the surface of petals and thorns piled up. Poetry Out Loud is something that, uh, that we started working on here at the school 12 years ago. Why speak of hate when I do bleed for love? They try and put the voice of the poem on so that it fits like a glove. Our success has been remarkable. We've had six state champions, one state champion runner-up. Who will poke them with its sharp teeth and bait them with its heartless laughter. And one girl advanced to third in the nation, for which she took home a $5,000 prize. In this world of so little communication, where students are involved with uh, cell phones and uh, computers all the time, is to get them back into the world of engaging others in conversation. And poetry is all about that. I feel you judging me for becoming agoraphobic in someone else's house. Hey guys, Albert Rivas here again with Addie Anderson from Lawton High School. Look, here's the deal. I love poetry. How long have you been doing poetry? I only started last year. Only last year, and you're number yes. two in the state, and then yes. Poetry Out Loud champion in here in Lawton Fort Sill. That's a huge thing. And has, well, how has poetry changed your life? It helps me see that other people feel the same things I do, and lets me see other people's feelings as well that I may not have noticed before. I love that. Why is it so important to continue funding the arts, all forms of art, which include written and poetry? Um, this opportunity would have never been presented to me if it weren't for people like my teachers or other members of the art community. And it's given me skills that I'll use later on with career paths. Well, it always starts with the arts. Arts changes people's lives, changes your lives, changed my life. And so I cannot wait to see you grow uh, in your journey of the arts. Thank you so much, Addie, of for joining course, us today. Thank you. Auction item number three is a stunning landscaping package from Bedrock Nursery, donated by Dennis and Sarah Toddy and Billy and Dana Franklin. You know, the grass is not always greener in that other fella's yard. Not if you are the winner of auction item number three. The Bedrock crew have the freshest, healthiest, and most beautiful plants around, and they know how to keep them that way. If you struggle with our challenging Oklahoma climate, Bedrock Nursery can show you how to make your yard and flower beds the prettiest around. They supply pretty much anything you need. Flowers, shrubs, trees, sod, and even the most beautiful and peaceful water features. And they have the expertise to help you out. With over 25 years of experience, Bedrock Nursery has the experience you need and the quality you deserve. The highest bidder will receive up to $1,500 of Bedrock services or products. Don't let this pass you by. Go to LawtonArtsForAll.org or scan the QR code at the bottom of your screen. My name is Emily South and I am the owner and director of South Star Dance Academy. 
I had the privilege nine years ago to go to Greece and I saw a group of children, school children that were out at the park for that day and I came over and they were just playing and dancing and I started dancing with them and I let them know that I teach and they were like, come, come teach and show us. And we never spoke of word because I couldn't understand them and they couldn't understand me. We literally did everything through dance and it was the most amazing opportunity that I had ever had. And strength. It is one form that most people can understand, one expression that most people can understand, whether it's with slow music or fast music, um, loud music or soft music, and it's, it's an amazing art that many people are able to do and, and try out. Bum, bum, bum. They can come here and have a moment of really expressing themselves. And after class, we teach them to say thank you to the teachers because that is showing appreciation for their teachers and the teachers appreciate that because it's a give and take here at South Star Dance Academy. Hello, my name is Zach Durant. My interest and my love of the arts began in 1986. I was cast as Tiny Tim in the cabaret's production of The Stingiest Man in Town, wearing the costumes, being on stage, singing, dancing, it just opened up my world. So many people at Lawton Community Theater were so inspiring to me, and I also got the opportunity to also do kind of crossover um, artistic endeavors uh, with Cameron University's theater departments. Hello, thank you for calling UCLA Health Talent Acquisition. This is Zach, how may I help you? I'm a certified HR professional, and Part of that is recruiting people into an organization. Working collaboratively with so many other people who have so many competing interests and trying to bring that all together. So I definitely think the arts are very key in helping you in any kind of profession you go into. My wife uh, comes from an acting background as well. And so I feel like our, our life, the life that my wife and I have had in the arts, has definitely filtered down to our children. We have a lot of fun dancing and singing around the house. Um, I, yeah, I have a lot of, there's a lot of play. Um, and I think that's what the arts kind of do for you. They kind of open up your mind to allow you to play. That's what Lawton Community Theater and Arts for All helps do for kids. It helps them understand the importance of play and helps them understand how to use their imaginations and to open up their worlds and to see things in a different way. Being a part of the umbrella, I call it the umbrella family, you know, uh, it is being connected to the arts and artisans and just the community at large. Same concept, we're using tissue paper to twist, fold, and roll to create the different ridges. To let them know that we're still here, that it's still important. And I think with a lot of folks staying home and not being able to go anywhere, um, it actually may have increased some of the creativeness for kids. The uh, first Saturday of every month, there is a kids workshop, which is a true hands-on. And we give them a blank canvas, a blank rock, um, uh, foam bugs that we did that the kids got really excited about, and we let them create. We just give them the materials, the supplies, and let their imaginations run wild. Welcome back to It Starts With The Arts with Arts For All Virtual Gala. And I have another special guest with me here today, Lily Brumfield. Hi, Lily. Hi. You're part of the MacArthur Orchestra. Yes. And you play the violin. Mm -hmm. And what makes you drawn to the violin? Because I love it. Really just the music and being able to create and express so much emotion, any emotion you want. I love it. And you're also a self-taught guitarist. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You just picked it up one day and decided, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Yeah, yeah. I love um, it. Thanks to my teachers having such a great foundation in music theory, you're able to pick up anything. Right, right. So, and of course, we're here for Arts for All, right? right. And Arts for All funds many organizations in the Lawton Fort Sill community to help other youth uh, to thrive in the arts. Mm -hmm. What does it mean to you to make sure that the arts to be funded? When you're funding the arts, you're funding for the youth. And these youth are going to be your politicians. They're going to be your doctors and you never know what they're going to be able to go out to do. Well, thank you so much, Lily, for joining us here today. Thank you for having me. None of this is possible without our incredible sponsors. 
The McMahon Foundation, Classic Lawton Chevrolet. Terry Bell Trust, the McMahon Auditorium Authority and the City of Lawton Arts and Humanities Division. Hillary Communications. Apache Casino Hotel. Gateway Mortgage. Arvest Bank. Bank First. Claude Machette. Ronnie and Diane Denham. My name is John Hernandez, a gourd artist, decorative gourd artist. 39 years at the Museum of the Great Plains, I had a chance to do every position held there, never thinking that one day I would be the director. I'll stitch. I used, I used basically pine needles. These are the pine needles that I use. And this is an example of, of one of my pieces that I'm working on right now. But just like this one, you know, it, I wanted to produce these a linear, very sensual cut. And most of my pieces have more of like a, a woman's neckline. I love it. Looks great. It's going the way I want it. I did my very first show for Arts for All probably in 83. And you know what? I, I went and I sold everything. And I thought, you know, this will give me an opportunity not only to, to produce more pieces of artwork, at the same time be able to support my art products and the, the materials that I need to do it. This particular piece is more decorative in the sense that I use the walnut slice. When a person purchases a piece of art, think about that. They're purchasing part of me. I put myself into this. I take great pride in what I put into this. I, I, I take great pride in the skills of where my stitching techniques, are. I put 22 years of stitching into it. So there's a lot going on here. And we're back with It Starts With The Arts for the Arts for All Virtual Gala. And with me today I have from Elgin High School, Miss Taylor. Taylor, so you are part of the Lawton Ballet Theater and what a wonderful organization to be a part of. Uh, you get to be able to express yourself through ballet and all forms of dance. What does it mean to you to be able to impact the people that are viewing you from the audience? What does it mean for you to be able to deliver such a message through the art form of dance? It means a lot to me, like, to impact, like, someone really young. Like, you can really kind of, like, have them, like, have a passion for something. Like, really encourage them, you know? Gotcha. And for you, what is it, how has it changed your life to be part of the arts? It's, like, given me a purpose, you know, something I've done since I was really little. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, Ms. Taylor, for joining us today. Now, auction item number four. They say that all roads lead to Darby's Furniture, and they should. Here we are on location in their beautiful showroom here in Lawton on Northwest Cash Road. You know, Darby's has been around for a long time. It has. Family owned, and they pride themselves on... Incredible customer service. And our favorite thing, free, free delivery. delivery. Well, they've always been a supporter of the arts, and uh, look at this beautiful piece, a craft master chair and ottoman all leather you know this is something that will look good today and it will look good 20 years from now and in anybody's living room or your bedroom oh a bedroom would be a great place to put this and really it's a chair and a half look how big this is if you would like to bid on this fantastic item, all you have to do is go to LawtonArtsForAll.org. Or you can scan the QR code that is on your screen and it will take you directly to the website. I think I may bid on this. I'm going to bid on it too. I'm going to bid on it. It was kind of devastating at first to think that we may not ever be able to do what we love to do as a group in person ever again for the foreseeable future. So we were trying to make sure that we kept each other safe and we kept our um, audience safe as well. And then we got together to do what we love to do the most, and that is to sing together. And we could hear each other. And when we, I'm getting goosebumps right now, that first rehearsal when we started singing, I, we, I mean, we just had tears in our eyes because it was so wonderful. The sharing of it with other singers just amplifies the joy that we get from singing. <laughs> 